Welcome to Web Design Tutorials for HTML. This is lesson number 17. And in this lesson, I'm going to talk about how to insert a table into your website. And the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the previous document open from the previous tutorial. And once you have that open, go ahead and look for the H1 tag that says Web Design Tutorials for HTML. And we're going to click right after that. And we're going to create a little bit of space between that and the paragraph tag. And then we're going to go ahead and start writing our table. And we're going to go ahead and write angle bracket and then the word table. And then we're going to write an HTML attribute. In this case, the name is going to be border and the value is going to equal one. And what that's basically going to do is create a one inch border around our table. And let's go ahead and write an angle bracket on the end of that. And the first thing that you want to write after that opening tag for the table border is your table row. And that's going to define the first row in our table. So let's go ahead and write an angle bracket and then the word TR. And that's going to be our opening tag for the table row and then create a little bit of space and write the closing table row tag. So now that we've defined the first row in our table, we now need to add a tag that's going to allow us to store data in that first row in our table. And the way that we would do that is between the table row opening and closing tag, we would write the word TD for our opening tag and that stands for table data. And in this case, I'm going to write the word cookies. And then I'm going to write a closing TD tag for the table data. And that's going to start our first set of data in our table row. And the last thing that you want to do is make sure that you close your table. The table tag is the opening tag with the border HTML attribute. We want to make sure that we have the closing table tag as well at the end of our content. So let's go ahead and write that in like so. Hit Control S and then go to our uh, HTML document and open it in our web browser. And you'll see that it says the word cookies in our web browser now, and it has it in the table. So let's go ahead and go back to our HTML document, and we're gonna go ahead and add another set of table data in that first table row. If we go ahead and write that in like so, hit Control S, and go back to our web browser, and hit refresh, you'll see that it adds another column to that first row. So to add another column to the first row, you just keep adding table data tags and it'll keep creating new columns in that first row. But how do we create another row in our table? Well, let's go ahead and go back to our HTML document. And this time we're gonna click right after the closing table row tag, hit the enter key a couple times because I wanna create a little bit of space so that this doesn't look too confusing. And go ahead and write the table row opening tag and then the closing table row tag. And just like before, we're gonna write our table data tags in between the opening and closing table row tag. So I'm gonna write water in for the first tag, and then I'm gonna write in juice for the second tag. And then hit Control S, go back to our web browser, hit the refresh key, and you'll see that it created a second uh, row of data with two, two columns of content again. Now, what if we left one of those uh, table data is empty. What if we removed it? What would happen then? Let's go ahead and go back to our document here and let's go ahead and delete the juice uh, table data and hit control S. Go back to our web browser and when we go back to our web browser you'll see that that table data is empty. So if you don't put anything in there it will leave it empty. So make sure that you have something in the in the table data when you put them in your HTML document. So that's pretty much how you insert a table into your document. And if you have any questions, please let me know if this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to embed, comment, subscribe, and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.